Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a very fun one. I'm going to be doing a chilled get ready with me, answering a bunch of your questions, which you guys have been asking me. I asked you to ask me. Wow, that is a lot of asking. Basically, I haven't been able to film for the past forever because it's been Easter holidays. I've literally been working and that is it. So it's very boring. I've got a lot of vlog footage that I need to kind of piece together in some form of vlog, which will be really fun. I got my belly pierced. Ah! Can you see? It will be in a vlog at some point. I kind of vlogged it. But other than that, I just want to apologise for not uploading for a really long time. I've just been so busy and it's Easter Sunday. My parents have actually gone to the beach to go enjoy the lovely weather. I'm staying to revise and work. Although I do have to film just because I feel like I feel so disconnected from you guys. I haven't been able to film. I've got a couple videos to edit, but they're just like, I'd rather just film a more recent one now because those videos are older. Well, I have one get ready with me, but the video is too old now to actually upload, I think. Like none of the stuff I talk about is very relevant because it was a few weeks ago and I'd rather just film an updated version. Also, my vlog camera has broken, which is so annoying. The shutter on the lens is actually broken. So I can't even film like a vlog anymore, which is very annoying, but I'm going to head over to my Instagram and find the questions that you guys, oh, I <laughs> didn't upload. Yep, the story didn't actually upload. So I have a few new products that I got in my PO box. Maybe I'm going to use some. I don't really want to put loads of makeup on because I'm literally at home. Like I'm just going to Tesco's to buy some tampons. <laughs> just going to keep it real. So start off, I'm going to use some moisturizer. This is just a hydrating, boosting whatnot. I've actually had such a nice uh, Easter. I've like kind of made some new friends. I've actually like socialized because I don't really go out that much. <laughs> no one likes me, no one invites me. Um, no, so it was actually really nice to go out and kind of have a social life a couple times. So I'm happy, I've had a lovely Easter to be honest. The first week I did loads of work, the second week I haven't. <laughs> But it's okay. It's all okay. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I'm gonna just live my life, you know. It's all you can all you can do. I actually really don't want to put very much makeup on. I did want to try some new products, but I don't want to put loads of makeup on. Um I'm gonna use this e.l.f. mineral infused face primer. I got this in my PO box. Actually, there was a little note that came with it. I don't know where that note is now. Somewhere actually in my room. Oh, it was like from two girls that have, were doing like work experience at this PR place and they could send it to like some YouTubers that they wanted and they sent it to me and I was just like, oh, it was like loads of e.l.f. stuff and I literally was so excited because like I've always wanted to try e.l.f. So thank you so much to them. That was so sweet. If you're watching this, thank you. I actually just went to Big Beauty Day Out the other day and that was so fun. We had a meet up Evie and I and it was just amazing I really want to be able to do more events and like I feel like I've just had this disconnect with you guys because I've been revising and I haven't been uploading and you know like Obviously when I don't upload for ages, less of you guys watch it. And I just want to be like back to being connected to you guys. Oh, this is making weird noises. So cannot wait for summer to actually bang out some videos and just hopefully be back on my A game. Someone asked me about my belly piercing. So I feel like, let me just, this is my belly piercing. So maybe I'll tell the story, but I do have like vlog footage, which I'm going to upload in a separate video because... I actually wanted to do like a proper vlog of it, but excuse me, rubbing my eyes. Um, I'm just gonna say very quickly, I'm gonna use one of these brown wand things from Barry M, which they kindly sent me. I'm gonna use the lightest, lightest one. It just has like a gel and then a pencil. So Evie and I have both wanted it done for ages. I, I've literally, probably years, I wanted my belly done. But like, I don't know, obviously I was a lot younger, like a few years ago, like, for like 14 and stuff is quite young to get your belly done. To be honest, if you're allowed to do whatever the heck you want, as long as you're allowed. We kind of wanted to get it done together, so then we were trying to work out like when we were meeting, when we could, and then we always never had time. Like, because when Evie comes, um, we literally do like a million things, and one day like she came and we literally, in the morning we filmed her media, no, we in the morning we did a press junket, then we filmed her media, then we got our bellies pissed, and then we went to my friend's house, and then we went out in the evening. So literally we did so much in one day. Anyway, we ended up doing it. Um, it was £40 and it hurt a lot. It hurt, it hurt mega. Um, so I'm just gonna fill in my brows like this. Basically, they didn't, um, she didn't clamp it because apparently when you clamp it, it like, I don't know, it's more, makes it more painful or I don't really know. I feel like this is, this is too warm toned, this eyebrow pencil for my eyebrows. I don't think that looks very good. Um, so yeah, it did really hurt. I'm gonna be honest. Like Evie came out and was like, oh my god, it didn't hurt at all. 
which actually she was bless her saying that to make me less stressed so I was not stressed and then I thought I just thought am I being like a big baby right now by finding it really excruciatingly painful but no I came out and she was like yeah no wasn't it so painful and now I was like you lied but the woman who did it was really really nice and like when I'm nervous like I talk loads so I was just nervous talking to her and I was like sorry do you mind if I go on my phone like to distract myself and she was like oh no not at all like you don't need to ask and then I was like sorry am I allowed to put my feet on here or not because I was like didn't want to put my feet up on the mat like if that's rude and you're not allowed and she was like you don't have to say sorry and ask <laughs> Um, oh, sorry, I just went silent for a minute. Um, I feel like maybe that's a bit dark, I don't know. But yeah, it was painful, but I think, like, there's no point stressing about stuff like pain because after, like, the first day, I mean, this is the second, no, this is the, yeah, third day, and it's fine. It was a bit painful the first day, like, when I just first got it done for the first hour, even, I were like, oh my gosh, ow, and we had plans to go out, and we were like, I actually don't know if I can go out, because it's so painful. But then, well, Evie was saying that, but I was like, stop being boring, so we did. Um, but yeah, we had such a nice time, oh wait, what was I talking about? Oh, so the belly piercing, <laughs> yeah, it was fine. It was, I feel like, a little bit of pain is worth it, it was more painful than my nose piercing, if I'm honest. My nose piercing, I think because the nose is just like, like a tiny bit, and it's like, thick do you know what I mean so it just goes through whereas I feel like fat like it takes longer to go through or like more skin um so it felt a lot longer it felt like she pissed it like on the top and then the bottom I don't really know like how she did it but mine's healing okay actually I'm not gonna drink it so in summer all I do is just like a bit of brow gel and a bit of like moisturizing concealer makes you look fresh but for the purpose of this video we're just gonna do a bit more than that someone said is your belly button gonna split when you're pregnant well i'm not pregnant and i hope it doesn't <laughs> i'm pretty sure like it scars <coughs> like you'll always have a hole in your belly but it's one of those things it's life i'm not gonna have a belly button piercing forever i really like it now when i'm just gonna have to deal with that i guess i don't really know like i wanted it done so it's kind of worth it to me i'm gonna use this Kiko Radiant Touch Highlighter. But yeah, I'm not really thinking about that because I feel like it's not like it's a tattoo or something that's like, you know, that's like me trying to persuade Evie not to get Hello Kitty tattooed on her. <laughs> I actually want like a tiny tattoo like here. Ooh, like here. Basically like Devon Lee Carson. Don't know if you follow her on Instagram. She has a little heart there and I just love it so much. So if, 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 if I was to get a tattoo, I'd get something like that, but I don't think I want one. I don't really know. I like them on other people, but I'm not that bothered about getting them, to be honest. I went through a phase where I was like, I want to get lids, but actually, just not that bothered. Like, a little one, like, I think would look really cute, but, like, yeah, I'm not a huge tattoo girl. I think they look nice on other people. I just think when I become 50 and I'm going to, am I going to want, like, cherries tattooed on me? Probably not is the answer that i changed so much so i'm definitely gonna be changed by the time i'm 50 <laughs> but yeah like obviously tattoos are like how you felt at that time like if you got something tattooed it's like mindset you were in so i think it's, it's not an issue if you don't well it's your body so if you don't like it you can get lasered and stuff but like it's not like it's like the be all and end all because it shows like the how you're feeling at that time in your life and you know what you're going through and it's like interesting so I'm going to use this e.l.f. cream contour thing. I actually really like this. I'm going to use the shade. Yeah, I don't think I want a tattoo. I think I've kind of got all the tattoos, uh, the, sorry, piercings I want. Maybe I'd get like a fourth, but I'm not that fast. To be honest, I like having threes enough. How many piercings does that make me have? One, two, uh, hold on. Three, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I don't want to look too cluttered on my ears. I feel like too much could be too much. Hey, I just took put bronzer on I haven't put any concealer and stuff on and usually my bronzer looks bad like if I don't have something underneath it let's just use this dirty old makeup wipe yep yep came here for a get ready with me not a tutorial okay I'm going to use a bit of this MAC fix for face and body foundation it's too dark for me right now I need to catch a tan in this weather and then it'll be okay it literally all it does it doesn't even really give coverage I don't think it literally just makes you like a little bit tan and like the color kind of a little bit more even on your face especially when you only put a little bit on like I just have but I really love it and I'm definitely going to repurchase it it's just like a tinted moisturizer it's the only foundation I really use I don't really use like proper foundation because it always looks so cakey on me then I don't really like I just have really red cheeks to cover up and that's about it like don't worry about little things no one this is what Chessie King said on her Instagram and I love Chessie King no one is going to remember you do your body they're going to remember you for who you were as a person how you made people feel and 
Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I say a little, it's probably quite a lot. And then I'm gonna do my contour thing again. <laughs> this one I got from e.l.f. again in that package. Love it for contour. Yeah, that was quite a lot I put on. Oh my god, I actually look actually crazy. Just move the angle down a little, little bit. How to tell if someone finds you annoying? Um, <laughs> I don't really know. I feel like people like show signs of that. Do you know what I mean? Like. You can just tell when you're annoying someone. You, that's just made me think, I want to talk about star signs. So, I am a cancer star sign. That basically means I'm like really sensitive. <laughs> I'm quite moody. I'm quite moody. I'm not like a mean person, obviously. Imagine being like, yeah, I'm so really, I'm really mean. I'm such a bitch. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I'm a cancer. So that basically just means that I'm like really sensitive. I like, my mood changes a lot. So like, I can be pretty upset by stuff really quite easily. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but you know what? I think you have to just embrace things like that. Like, don't see it as a flaw, it's part of you. Like, it never means any harm. Like, I don't like, I'm not like, I don't ar like arguing, I'm not like, so it's not like I don't see it as a flaw. Sensitive, if you want to care for people around you, like, love your family and friends, and like, family is really important, and I would say that's true. I would say my family is like the most important thing for me personally. I want to look at my horoscope for today. Daily horoscope. <laughs> mood when you get a rubbish horoscope no thanks not gonna look at that today don't need negativity um oh my gosh i hate getting bad horoscopes i feel like when you let this anti-age concealer dry a bit it like sticks a lot more it's like easier to blend so i have a couple questions about merch basically i'm going to spill the tea on the merch we were doing it with this company they were basically really rubbish and they kept messing up our samples and like evie and i were just so worried that something would go wrong when you guys bought the merch like in the end the samples were okay but we were like they can mess up something that much like for us and obviously they would want it to be perfect for us because we're the ones saying yeah we want to go ahead with it then obviously it's not going to be worth it because I don't want to ruin my reputation with you guys like just for some merch like if the quality ends up being bad or they print it wrong oops it's just really not worth it to me and yeah they just kept messing it up so I'm going to have to start again it's a shame because I really love the design so I might buy the design outright but it does cost a lot so it's like making the decision where whether that is actually worth it so yeah, I'm not really sure. We basically had to postpone it because it was so it's, it was so annoying because it was so time consuming. Like literally every day, like sorting out obviously on the phone for designs, and then like I have about a million different jumpers now at home, like where we've been like trying them out and the different styles, and it's just like all of that. And then we just ended up having to like ditch it because it was just not working. So it's quite frustrating to be honest. But we kind of was all a bit quick, I think, because we wanted to get it out by Christmas and it, we didn't have very long at all pair. And I just thought, you know, this is not something I want to rush at all. So, yeah, it's really, I understand it's really annoying for you guys, but it's also really was very, extremely frustrating for Evie and I. Um, so I'm so sorry about that, to be honest. Oh, I actually love this, a bit brown. The other night when I went out, I did like a kind of brown smoky eye and a bit of like smoky liner and I actually loved it. A lot more to the to like winged liner. I feel like it looked better. Okay, then I'm just going to add some mascara, I think. I usually use waterproof mascara, but I don't have like nice makeup remover to take it off with. Actually, I do. Maybe I'll put a bit of waterproof mascara on, but like just a little bit. Usually I like cake it up, but today I don't really feel like having mascara on, so I'm not going to put loads on. Just a little bit. Keisha, Becky. Oops, <laughs> I said props wrong in it. <laughs> It wrote pro probs wear me. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, someone said I just love the message you put out daily. So inspiring and needed. Love you so much. Thank you so much. I feel like I get really mixed reviews. I try to be quite a body like confident, like ah, body positivity kind of person. But a lot of the time, I can get like when I try to do nice things, like people message me like ah, like I don't know, finding something wrong with it. So I feel like I'm always torn. Like, is this helping or not? But then I get messages from other people being like, oh my gosh. This really helps me, so I'm like, okay, you know what, if it helps a few people, it's 100% worth someone in my ear, like, Ugh. Someone actually said to me, this really frustrated me, she basically said that I shouldn't promote body positivity because I'm, like, super skinny, she called me, which I don't really like that anyway because I'm actually quite insecure about <clears throat> the fact that I am um, don't really have curves. So already I was just kind of like, okay, 
thanks for pointing that out. Like, time is something I don't know, babe. But she basically said that she likes hearing body positivity from, I can't remember if she actually said like larger people. I can't remember what she said either way. And she was like, because they tend to be more insecure, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard because she's basically saying, well, she was basically saying that, can my phone shut up? She basically said, she didn't want to hear body positivity stuff from me because it's unbelievable, not believable that I would have body insecurities because I'm super skinny. And that apparently if you're a little bit smaller then you can't have any insecurities, which is crazy to me. But it's just a shame because it's like, she basically was saying she likes hearing it from large people because it's more believable that they'd be insecure. And I just think, what, you're literally putting back into the idea that if you're larger you should be insecure. It's just ridiculous. It's like she's literally reinforcing that, that only la large in quotations can i just say people should be insecure it's just like what the heck are you doing all i'm trying to do is just make people love their body like when i have like a bit of a crap thought i just think i share it with you guys because i kind of seek like to relate with you guys and you often say oh you know i needed this today and it makes me so happy so all i ever try to do is just make you try make you guys hopefully feel a little bit better but obviously i think some people kind of see that and then they want to like criticize it because they know you're trying to do something nice and then they want to like criticize that just because some people are blooming negative honestly i'm gonna use this blush crush from lati london which i kind of got sent i kind of got sent a lot of this makeup because obviously i have a po box from like brand send stuff really kindly so it's actually so nice because i always get to try out new makeup and i love this blush these are all kind of items that have made their way into my everyday routine cute shot they're cute i really like this makeup i'm not gonna lie it looks really glowy and dewy and that is what i love Sorry, the camera stopped, but lip-wise, I'm probably just going to use this lip oil from L'Oreal. And put a little bit on. Oh, yeah. It, like, tints a little bit, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. We'll live. That is the look. I like it. Um, my camera's literally about to run out of storage. Oh, my gosh. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, I'm... Ah! It's about to run out. No. Right, I didn't want to rush the outro too much, so I've changed memory cards, which is probably the clever thing to do. Um, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed just like catching up with me. Um, this is the makeup. Let me. So I've turned down the aperture a little bit so you guys can see the makeup. It's very natural. Just a bit of brown on the lids. Yay! <laughs> that was so close. Um, I really hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you very soon with a new one. Bye! See ya.